everyone so it was requested that I make a room tour video and this is essentially the room that I do a lot of my recording in and this room when we first moved into this house um, it was just like an extra bedroom pretty much so uh, for a while um, I had my bookcase in it and just um, our old bed which my dog would sleep on and I told my boyfriend, you know, this was when I wanted a vanity and the whole nine yards. And I just kind of wanted, like, a room for myself. Because uh, you know how us girls are, like, when you have a house, um, you kind of just want, like, a little bit of the house to be, like, yours. You know, because when you're young, you have your bedroom and you spend a lot of time in it with all of your, you know, girly things. And I wanted something like that since we had an extra room to spare. So that's what we turned this room into, and it's not done, um, I don't think it ever will be, because by the time, like, I don't even think I'm going to do anything else with it, because we'll probably move before I ever do anything else, so I don't think I'm going to paint it or anything like that. Um, but this is just what it holds currently. Um, this is my vanity. Um, I have a mirror for it and everything, but... Um, when I bought it, there was just things with, like, the whole vanity needed painted, and, you know, I put new knobs on, and the whole nine yards. So, I don't even have the mirror up here, and I'm not even really too concerned about it right now. But, this is where I pretty much store, like, all of my makeup and stuff. Um, I'll just give, like, an overview of everything. Um, I didn't clean or anything like that, so I apologize if you see any kind of messes. But over here, I just have this little thing. Um, you can put lipsticks in it. I had lipsticks in it, but uh, I currently don't have any up there right now. And just two little uh, trinket type things. I have like a cluttered kind of mess, but I love everything that I have, so it's hard for me to like part with the stuff that I do. And this is just a um, brush set that I got at a yard sale one year. Um, they're really pretty, and I thought they'd be really cute displayed on my vanity. I don't use them, but I just have them sitting up here. Um, I have a lot of perfume atomizers, and I'll show you uh, my collection as I go. Um, this one right here was given to me by my boyfriend's mother. Um, this one, these two are like purse ones, ones you can put in your purse. This one my mom got me. And then this one, uh, my mom got me at a yard sale. Um, it actually still has a little bit of perfume in it, but I don't like how it smells. Um, this is a little nail polish holder thing. And what you do with it is when you're painting your nails, you can sit this up here on this top piece right there. So, um, you know, you can sit it down, I guess, to hold it. It was on my mom's dresser since I was a little girl, and she didn't want it, so she gave it to me, and I just had to have it because it belonged to her. Um, this perfume atomizer was given to me by a good friend here on YouTube, Anna, and I miss her videos so much and I hope that she makes more sometime soon. She is such a sweetheart. I bought a couple of these little cloth paper dolls on Listia, so I got them for free. Um, these are the Monster High dolls I currently own. I have a lot of people always ask like what dolls these are, and they are Monster High dolls, and I know they're a little young for me, but they didn't have this kind of stuff when I was a kid, and these are just right up my alley. I think they're so awesome. And it's just like one little thing that I do actually collect. So those are the ones that I have. Um, back here, I have a painting that I made. Um, I'm not very good or anything, but I made that. I made this little Hello Kitty. And... Oh, I also have another perfume atomizer back here. It looks like this. And I bought this one at um, Hobby Lobby. They have really cute ones there. Um, over here, I have another cloth uh, doll. I have a card back here from Pam, which is another friend of mine on YouTube. Um, I have a Pandora cupcake uh, jewelry holder thing. Uh, over here I have my, uh, most of my makeup brushes, and I just made this from, um, a glass, 
container I got at, I think, Michael's, and then just this, um, whatchamacallit, I forget what the hell of the stuff is called, but if you guys are want to know, I'll, I will look it up for you. And then over here I have two of these little guys. These are, um, furry bones, they're called, and they're just like little skeleton animals. I have an owl and a rabbit. I want more of these too, but, okay, those are the only two I have. I lied. I have another one. I'll show it to you in a minute. Um, this is just a little container of sorts, kind of like a jewelry box. I don't even have anything in it. I sometimes just keep money in there. I have a dollar. My mom gave this to me in my stocking. It looks like a t-shirt. I don't know how they did that, but um, I don't have any money in there right now. Uh, down here is just uh, more stuff. It's got junk in it. And I have like pallets and stuff like laying under there. I'm very, very unorganized. It's ridiculous. In here I keep all of my perfumes. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them are in there. And then um, my makeup is totally disorganized. This drawer has a lot of like lip products in it. I tried organizing it one day and I gave up. Like, there's just so much stuff in there. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, when I do my makeup, I kind of have the products that I use every day. And I switch it out every now and again. Like, I'll change up like the eyeshadow palette I'm using and stuff like that. So, it's not as bad with my organization. Um, and here's like mascaras and eyeliners. And then this is another drawer that's just outrageous. Um, that's mainly like eyeshadows and stuff like that. I need a better form of organization, that's for damn sure. Um, this chair I got at a yard sale. Uh, I absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful. Um, over here I have a dollhouse. And, again, I know it seems kind of weird that I have one, but, um, I got this at a yard sale for, like, $20, $20 maybe? I can't even remember. But, um, it looks really cool from the other side, but you can't see it because I have this side out. But, um, I always wanted one because I had big plans of turning it into, like, a haunted kind of looking dollhouse. And if you Google image that, you can find some really awesome ones that people have made. And I haven't even begun to work on it. I'm still trying to find, like, furniture and stuff at yard sales. But, um, this is, like, what I currently have, I guess you'd say. I just have random stuff in there, too. Like, this little cat. It's really furry and soft, and I love it. Um, that's actually, like, a little tea light holder candle thing, I think. Um... And it's funny, these little people I had since I was a little girl, so I just threw them in there. There's a cat in the tub. And I found these um, wicker type furnitures at a uh, yard sale. So, and like all the other furniture came with the house. Um, that stuff down there, and there's like a kitchen set down there. And this thing I got at a... Um, thrift store. I don't know what they're called, but I always seen them. Um, and I thought they were cute. It's a little, like, geisha girl. And then, up here, I have a shelf that my boyfriend hung for me. One of them. Um, he failed miserably at hanging another one, so this is the one shelf that I have. And there's me, like, my perfume atomizers up here. Uh, I have this little thing. I don't even know what it is. Just a vintage um, body powder or something. I don't use it, but I think it looks cute, the packaging. Um, I have this blue atomizer I got at a yard sale. This white one I bought at a thrift store. Um, this one here came from Hobby Lobby as well. They have really pretty ones there. Um, that's my creepy schnoz handkerchief seller man that I got at a yard sale. Um, this one I got it at a yard sale, and this one I got at a yard sale. This blue one, um, I don't know if it came from a thrift store or a yard sale, but it was one of the others. One of them. And then I have another one of them pictures back there. 
This one has like Bath and Body Works um, powder in it. I got that on Listia. And then this is that Easter egg looking chair. I got it at a yard sale that one day and I was saying about how like, you know, what am I going to use it for? Well, I put one of my little furry bone characters up on there and I thought it looked cute. And then these two little ones, I don't know where they're from, but the one has a cupcake on its head and the other an ice cream cone. I thought they were cute. Um, over here I have a mirror and just a white boa thing across it. Um, it's just so I can see what my outfits look like on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, down here I have a I have a like mannequin head thing that's actually belonged to my um, cousin's ex-girlfriend. She was a beautician and she was gonna throw it away but I use it to um, model like my sunglasses and stuff like that that I sell on eBay. So right now she looks like a hot mess but I sometimes try to get her looking kind of cute. Over here I just keep my nail polish stuff. Um, yeah, I kind of already went through all my nail polish so I'm not going to do that. Um, over here, this just part of my room is a mess. This, um, this little stand thing I've had since I moved in, it belonged to my parents and I just used it when we first moved in. We didn't have like any kind of like legitimate furniture so we used it as a nightstand. Um, I don't want it anymore but I just kind of have it in here. And I have that mirror on the top of it, this mirror that my mom got me at a yard sale which I don't use. I don't know what to do with it. And then I have my little Bioshock figure on there. I don't know if you guys play video games. And over here, it's a complete disastrous mess. I have my tripod, um, a shelf, and all sorts of things that I was going to hang up in this room, but haven't got around to it yet. Um, I really like, like, the Victorian kind of look, so that's what I was going for with stuff I bought at, like, yard sales and everything. And then this bag has, like, um, supplies to uh, hang stuff and crap like that, which just isn't getting done. <laughs> and then over here I have my jewelry armoire. Um, this side just has like necklaces and this side has necklaces too. I'll just do a quick overview of this. In here I have um, just random things, uh, pendants, watches, stuff like that. Um, in here, um, Boy, it's kind of random again, too. Ring size or earrings. Um, just random stuff. Uh, and here is more like boxes and stuff like that. And here is like bracelets and more boxes. And here is more bracelets. And if you guys want like a an actual like collective kind of video of um jewelry, you'll just have to let me know. Uh, that's more bracelets. Um, and here is a lot of stuff that um um well not all of it, but there is some things in here that are broken that I need to fix. So that's that. Um, and here is like hair accessories. I just have hair accessories thrown in here. And this is what really sucks about this uh, jewelry armoire is that the sun like heated up this um, part along here and then like all this paint is chipping off which totally sucks but I need to get like a marker or something. And here I just have more boxes and these were um, coins that I, are uncirculated. They came out uh, the year I was born. My mom gave them to me um, <laughs> as part of a birthday present not too long ago. And then over here I have this whatchamacallit thing uh, that I got at a yard sale. And on top I just have um, a jewelry uh, thing that has some necklaces and stuff on. I have a couple perfumes over here. Um, this little shoe with some of my rings on. Um, this Lush Popcorn Lip Scrub. I love this stuff. I think it tastes delicious. And this little kitty cat ring holder. My little dish with rings. And 
my little owl I got at a yard sale. He's a music box. And I started to throw pennies in here that I find on heads when I'm just like out randomly because I'm weird like that. And then in here, this my uh, aunt put on one of my um, Christmas gifts this year. So I just put it up there. And then in here is all of my like body sprays and lotions and stuff like that. Okay. And then over here I hung this thing. I got this at a thrift store. And I thought it was so cute. Um, you can actually like put stuff in it. It's kind of like a vase almost. And I wanted to get some of them like big feather type things to put in there. Like some pink and white ones or blue ones. And this is my mannequin. She just looks like this. Um, I also have a little more black one back there. I use them for um, eBay purposes. And then over here is my closet, which is a mess. And this just kind of stores all sorts of junk. Um, these are my dog's clothes. She only has a couple pieces. But um, she's currently wearing one of her sweaters right now. But I just have some of her sweaters or scarves and some of her hair bows are up there. But um, I got these little pink hangers at the Dollar Tree. So, I mean, if you have a dog or, you know, any kind of animal that you sometimes put sweaters and stuff on, that's a good place to buy um, inexpensive hangers that will fit their clothes. And up here, oh my gosh, this is just a crazy mess. Up there I have, like, um, both me and my boyfriend's... Um, baby books I guess you'd say um it's just all of our like stuff in from when we were babies and then this box here holds all of my cards I have all of my birthday cards and every card you can imagine since I was like a little girl I have kept and that thing is so overstuffed I keep all of my cards because I think it's so much fun to like look back on sometimes and then this box here has just some of, like, I don't even know what's in that box, to tell you the truth. Just, like, you know, memories, I guess you'd say. Like, a memory-type box. Um, this pink box has things in um, from my boyfriend, like, cards and stuff from when we first started dating. And this box has, like, all my craft supplies. I have a thing of lace back there. And this box has, like, all sorts of samples and stuff in um, that's like all of my art, uh, painting supplies. Um, this box has like all of my old school certificates in and like Valentine's Day cards from when I was in elementary school because I kept like all of that stuff. And then that brown box back there has like all of my old cheerleading trophies in and stuff like that. Um, and down here it's just an absolute mess. Um, I have... These two bins are full of, like, pretty much random crap. Um, a lot of it's just, like, decorative things that I was going to use to put in this room but haven't yet. Um, I have a sewing box. Um, this little splicer mask I got for Christmas one year. Again, that has to do with Bioshock. It's, like, my favorite video game. And I have random boxes. Um, over here, I have... This thing, which I'm doing a craft on with um, old um, ticket stubs, which I haven't done yet because I haven't got a chance to go to the craft store yet. Um, I have this big-ass Pandora box that I got at a yard sale, which I think I'm going to sell because I obviously don't use it and don't think I'm ever going to. And then I have a makeup organizer thing, uh, which I don't use, so I should probably get rid of that too. Um, a hat box that has God knows what in an ironing board I got at a yard sale, which I've never used, and the same goes for this iron. Um, I felt like it was something that I needed to have, but I don't know about you, but I don't iron my clothing. Um, I just don't think it really gets wrinkly. I don't really have a job where it's required that I need to wear, like, you know, dressy clothes that I need to iron every day, so I don't. <laughs> I don't know if that's weird to you guys, but screw ironing, in my opinion. I think it's pointless. Uh, I have a makeup bag down there, a Halloween costume, which I've never worn, a uh, Hello Kitty stuffed animal that um, my boyfriend's mom got me one year when we were dating. I got like a Snuggie type thing back there, um, 
crap that was in my guest purse I need to put back in to hold its shape and then just like my art easel so that's basically everything in my room that I record in um, if you guys want any kind of like more in-depth of anything you'll just have to let me know but um this is just my little space that I like to come to and do like my girly things and my dog loves to be in here too so anyway um, I hope you guys like this video and uh, like I said just let me know if you want me to show anything more in depth.